Here, what's good, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, kings, queens? I got no idea how feeling today. We got the crazy story of suspect, the UK Grim Reaper, man. Insane title. Um, anyways, this is recommended to us by DBC. DBC, appreciate you for the recommendation. You know what I'm saying? This is brought to us by Trap Plug. Let's get smooth through it. I'd be mad interested here about uh, you know what I'm saying these type of videos, especially uh, one of the more feared. Uh, in the same, you know what I'm saying? Let's get some thought to me. Thought to me, trap. There we go, start off the active this. gang has become more popular since they started releasing songs. And throughout London, this gang is known to be a crazy one. But the truth is, no gang has a history without its members. In right, other yeah. words, crazy members make a crazy gang. In this True. video, I'll be talking about one of active gang's members, Suspect. This gotcha. is the crazy story of Suspect. Before we start the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do ah, is subscribe shit. to the channel and watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Nah, bet, Good bro. luck. Touch one more thing, it. know that all information in this video is not 100% confirmed, but is mostly alleged. Gotcha. Alright, let's get into it. Like the story of Active Gang is incomplete without its members, we can't talk about Suspect without talking about Active Gang. The gang was formed and based in Camden. Camden is located on the northwest side of London. Over the last five years, Camden has really heated up for gang wars. Although Northwest beef has been established for decades, and these beefs are not unknown. An example is Church Road versus South Kilburn. Presently, the beef in Camden is between Active Gang and Nager Grove. CTI of Camden Town, NRB of North Road, and 51st, which is a link up between NW1 and NW5 of Peckwater, Queens Crescent, and Cumbo. These wars didn't just start, you can only imagine how many bodies must have been dropped. Suspect of Active Gang has done a lot for his gang, but before we go into that, let's discuss a little bit about his personal life. I thought you were going to talk about the other niggas. foster family in Tottenham, but was in gotcha. care of Camden Council. Why, right? You must have thought his parents abandoned him or something happened to him, oh, but shit. nah. It was because of Suspect's reckless behavior as a teenager. For example, when he was 14 years, he went missing for a complete two months and kept everyone word until the police later spotted him and took him. Around that time, he was already repping his gang and selling drugs in towns of the country. Though this history of active gang isn't publicized, which made it difficult to know the origin and the founders of the gang, one thing is certain, suspect together with SY, Hitman, Broad Day, Blitz, and others in their clique have been original members of the gang for a long time. Thanks, Active yeah. Gang is not currently that big of a gang as it has around 30 to 40 members in it, but there is every possibility that it's going to increase as time goes on. Now that they're gaining recognition with their drill sounds and activities on the streets, they'd be welcoming new members. Active Gang was originally cool with Peckwater and Queens Crescent, and things were going well between the two gangs and the members, but it didn't last long as the beef between them started around 2016. Very usual. As you know from beef stories of different gangs, they're usually caused by small issues that could have been easily settled, but That's won't it. and from there blow out of proportion. Though the war became deadly in 2017, it began in 2016, and since the very beginning of the war, Suspect has been active all through the war scoring points I on Lebs of Gumbo, who later caught a body on 18. Hey, well, it's well, also well, alleged bad, that suspect bad. stabbed oh, T-Boy of Queens. Shit. Not my bad. Excuse me. Not in 2017, it began in 2016. And since the very beginning of the war, suspect has been active all through the war scoring points on Lebs of Cumbo, who later caught a body oh, on God. 18. It's also alleged that suspect stabbed T-Boy of Queens Crescent and ran over Deeds before he went to jail in 2017. He was locked up in 2017, but the reason why he got arrested is unknown. He was later released early in 2018. But while he was in prison, he never considered taking a break from beef, even though he was behind bars. He got into a fight, beating Goose of 51st Bailey. You know how these things work. That fight and those he rode with even earned him much respect in. While Suspect was still in prison, a lot happened and all of that made him crazier. In September of 2017, the first body was dropped in this beef. Oh. An important member of the active gang was killed by Peckwater, 51st Street Gang. This member of Active Gang that was killed is okay. called Mitch. Okay. Mitch was the boss at Mitch. that time, and he was RP caught by Flips, mentioned. who G-checked them and stabbed them. They both had a brief argument before Flips stabbed them in the neck and back. Oh, a police man. officer saw Flips in action, chased them all the way down the street, and caught him. Mitch was rushed to the hospital, but he would not survive. As for Flip, he stated that he was acting on self-defense, as the knife he used was for Mitch. The jury never believed his claims, and that got him 17 years to life imprisonment. Sadly, wow. Mitch was the third person in his family that was stabbed to death as his cousin was killed a few years before his death, also by stabbing. 
Suspect was close to Mitch, since Mitch was the boss and Suspect is quite useful to the gang for his activities, but he wasn't in Suspect's close circle since Suspect is way younger. Usually there are cliques even in a gang, apart from the broad alliance and respect between members of a group, there are usually cliques that roll together, especially because of the number of members in a gang. This explains why you can find SY, Broad Day, Swavy, and Hitman with Suspect as they engage in activities together. Back to the beef story, by February 2018, a member of Peckwater called Dotty was killed. At first you would think Active Gang eventually got their revenge on them by killing Dotty, but that's not correct. It was actually OFB and ZT members that killed him. That was suspiciously unusual since they are based in North and East London. Well that happened because of an argument they had at a party and soon things became really ugly taking Dottie's life. Bando K of OFB and Mark Duggan's son were arrested Here for Dottie's go. murder. Mark's son was later released after it was confirmed that he had nothing to do with the situation and was only present at the party. However Bando got convicted and got 18 to life on appeal. After the death of Dottie, active gang members disrespected him in songs even though- I'm confused. I could have sworn the niggas was saying band okay. I don't remember if they were saying people made fun of band okay because he wasn't on shit really. Or if they were saying that people just make it seem like he's not on shit. And they troll him. I don't, I don't remember. But uh, that, that just caught me off guard. Damn. Damn. Alright, remember. Though they didn't kill him. It's understandable because Dottie was a rival gang member anyway, and since he died they could only use that to get to their ops. Peckwater wasn't in any way happy with all of that. They became mad at those who killed their member and those who dissed him in songs, and so they retaliated. They set out on that day to slide on Broadwater farms in London fields, but they didn't find anyone, and so they decided to head to their usual op blocks in Camden, and they didn't stop there. Since they were so determined to take out their ops, that night alone four people were stabbed between two to three hours. Out of the four people that no. got stabbed, two died while two survived. These two victims were S45, named Sadiq, who was a member of the uh, active right. gang, and AK, who wasn't a gang member, but only a friend of those gang members. He wasn't meant to die, but the group he associated with got him in trouble and eventually took his life. That incident got all of the Peckwater 51st Street members that were out that night arrested. Eventually, while only three of them, Sting, Scambino, and Frost were found guilty of murder and manslaughter. That was a huge loss for Peckwater as four of their most respected members were serving life imprisonment. Both S45 and AK were close friends of Suspect, as you can regularly find them in his music. It was the murder of these two that made Suspect become really crazy and unleashed the demon in him as he was still in prison but already plotting his retaliation. Oh, as soon as Suspect got released in 2018, he got active in the streets immediately and he became crazy on the streets oh, of Camden. Fuck. He quickly started taking his revenge on his ops. He got three 51st Street members. Lebs, Action, and G Squeeze and fought them, almost killing Lebs. Action eventually had to leave G Squeeze and ran to save himself while G Squeeze was stabbed 14 times. In late 2018, Shucks. he made the papers when he allegedly shot at Cell, also called C2, a 51st Street member on Essex Street. Though his name was not mentioned and as no one identified him, the news read, the Mets gang squad has released CCTV of the chilling moment a gunman gets out of a Jaguar and opens fire off Essex Road. Police are pleading with anyone with information about the shooter or the driver of the car to get in touch. No one was hit, but two passers-by were injured now? during the shocking incident on the night of September 21st. A 34-year-old woman was taken to the hospital with a cut to her hand caused by shattered glass from a shop window, and a man 40 suffered minor injuries. The car pulled into the Peabody estate in Greenman Street before the passenger got out and fired several shots at another man in Greenman Street and then again in Essex Road. He then Shit. got back in the car, which sped off down Popham Street. From the news, it's clear that the suspect missed Cell as he jumped off road after the incident. During this time, suspect wasn't known to many people because he didn't release any songs. He was all about his gang activities, and Type that he shit. faced squarely. Okay. Usually, street works are done in silence to avoid getting into trouble, which yeah. suspect understood and stuck to. He continued earning himself respect in the gang and on the streets by fighting and taking ops out, even allegedly robbing a lot of guys at the time. He was so determined and that made him catch his first body in April 2019. No. The Queen's Crescent 51st Street boss called C. Miz, who himself had a body was walking in Green's Oak at about 8.30 when four active gang members spotted him there on the street. As soon as he also noticed his ops were there, he ran as he felt he was outnumbered which could be dangerous for him. He was filmed by a dash cam nearby while he was running for his life. He was able to run far but at a point he slipped and was caught by his ops. He was then stabbed to death by suspect, S.Y., Swavy, and Stricker. None of them were arrested Stricka. for this case as it <laughs> remains unsolved to this day. 
After Cimez died, his name was mentioned in a lot of songs they dropped. Some of the lyrics where Cimez was mentioned include, Bill up a Cimez pack that's flavors. Cimez just turned run. It was Broadway when Cimez got done. It was at night when Culp's got packed. They still want the suspect for that one. His oh lyrics clearly my gosh, that lyric is kind of... What song is this again? Oh, he said broad... For a second, I thought niggas was so snitching. <laughs> I don't know how I heard broad day. I was like, it was broad day. Nigga. 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 Uh, he said Broadway, though. Okay. Uh, it was at night when they still want the suspect for that one. Okay. Okay. Pretty much. Pack, they still want the suspect for that one. His lyrics clearly explains what happens about Simez the day he was killed as he took credit for it. After the murder, suspect continued his rampage as he hit Minty, Cash, Lebs, VI, and Roe, all 51st members. Three I'm months later, suspect caught his second body, which belonged to the Combo 51st Street. That day, active oh. gang members and CT1 members loaded themselves in two cars and went out to look for their ops. They found culprit action and an unknown man, and as soon as the three saw them, they ran, leading their ops to chase after them. This made the three of them split up and ran on their own. Culprit got caught alone as he was ringing doorbells from house to house for help, but no one wanted to help him to avoid trouble. Suspect got him and stabbed him with a knife so long that it came out his back. Man. Culprit was only 16 when Suspect killed him, but being 16 doesn't mean he didn't have a body too. All by himself, he killed someone on Cali Road, which is most likely a rival gang member, and also shot at Suspect one week before his death. For the murder, the police arrested AR named Abi Robin Ibrahim. AR wasn't part of the stabbing, but he was the one that drove them to the scene. The car that he drove was later oh. found destroyed together with another car, which are most likely the cars they took to the scene. Suspect that's why and Swavy all fled to East Africa to avoid trouble leaving AR who didn't commit the murder to bear the punishment. Yeah. AR also decided not to say anything and he got 21 years to life in prison for that. Even though Suspect has two bodies which is kind of rare in this generation so in UK drill, he hasn't stopped from pushing his rap career. He started dropping when he was last in the UK and his early songs reached 1 million views which is a good benchmark for UK rap music. Since he went on the run, his consistency has improved and he's also linked up with the likes of Lowski and Fredo, HRB. Even though active gang top killers are on the run, that didn't stop the beat from going on. In late 2019, Wilson Varela was shot dead in Camden by two men. Wilson was not a gang member but was mistaken for a gang member. Those who killed Wilson are unknown but it was rumored that it was active gang or Peckwater. In 2021, the beef started to calm down a bit but in the beginning of summer, the beef reignited on a big level. Blitz of Active Gang got stabbed by three combo members on his birthday and was mocked on social media. Soon after, no. Broad Day and T.S. Camp were released from prison and they took to social yes, media to make awareness of how they were going to make Camden hot again. They allegedly stabbed- Bro, stop putting this fucking video in here. Who, who, who the fuck? Who? What the fuck? What is this? Why the hell is this in this video, bro? They allegedly stabbed a knop in the face and by the end of summer, Peckwater was on the news again. This time, it was a quadruple shooting that left three women shot. It was said that Drills, who's the QC's boss, was also shot, though he said it's not true. The rival sure. gang started taunting one another, and Broad Day eventually got called back to jail the day after. The problems continued till today, with Suspect and his friends still on the run for the murder they committed. Alright guys, that's all I've got yeah. for you in this video. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment interesting, section. Interesting, interesting. It's like, I don't think any of this shit I heard in this video was new. Like things that I haven't heard, but it'd it, it be like hearing it over again. It's like, damn, like that, that happened. Like on top of me forgetting shit, you know what I'm saying? And whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Just, just a real, I almost said reliever. Um, damn, I can't think of the, just refresher. There we go. Damn. What the fuck? But, um, hey man, interesting video, you know, again, brought to us by Cheetah, you know what I'm saying? Um, I said brought to us by Cheetah. This was brought to us by Trap Legs. Excuse me, we just watched this video by Cheetah, all right? I'm sorry, I apologize. All right, correction. But, um, yeah, man, it was recommended by DBC. See, you see what happens when I get a bunch of recommendations and... I, my apologies, all right? You know what I'm saying? I corrected myself, though, you know? But anyways, this is my last UK drill video of the day. All right, so any recommendations from here? Hopefully, uh, yours is seen.
by the time I do my next batch. But anyways, man, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Links in the description. Get in tune. Y'all take it easy. Goodbye. Goodbye.